Forests, shrubs, pastures and agricultural lands, water and built-up areas are all part of the landscape. But how much of each is there in the world? How do they all contribute to the well-being of humanity? How are they managed? How are they evolving over time? The monitoring of forest and land use is an essential tool for the sustainable management of natural resources. It has also become a key requirement in national and international environmental conventions. Information provided through forest monitoring plays a valuable role in many international agreements, such as the Rio Agreement of 1992, the 2004 Kyoto Protocol, the Convention on Biodiversity and the UNFCCC. This information goes beyond forest boundaries and can be used as indicators of biodiversity, production, water and soil conservation, watershed management, urban planning and much more. Policy makers require more and better information to enhance the role of forests in reducing the impact of climate change and providing vital goods and ecosystem services. Outlook information on the wider context is needed, including demand for food, energy and wood fibre, employment and rural development issues. Policy makers are also increasingly challenged to provide evidence of good governance of forests. Advancing sustainable forest management requires that informed decisions be made at the national level and that progress towards chosen goals can be monitored. This in turn requires that effective national forest inventories and assessments are in place to serve national policy processes and international reporting. General knowledge about nature is also important for other development projects. Policies related to natural resources need to be rooted on solid information. National forest information systems need to be set up in countries in order to ensure the availability of this information to all potential users. The bulk of this information will come from the national inventories that are produced in a regular basis in countries and ensure the information related to the natural uh, variables like area, species, stocks, growth, and so on. Whereas other sources will provide information about trade, about production, about budgets and investments. As we mentioned in the beginning, forests, shrubs, pasture and agricultural land, water and built up areas are all part of the landscape. But how much do you have in your country? Do you know? If not, why not join us and we can help you. FAO has more than 50 years of experience in integrated natural resources assessment and can give you the support you need.